Okay, the mid-range king, the Logitech M720 Triathlon. If you're looking for a mouse that is packed with features and doesn't cost an arm and a leg, then this video is for you. My main priority for my next mouse was comfort. Even though this isn't technically a vertical mouse by any means, Logitech does classify it as a full-size ergonomic mouse, but I'll get into that later. My second requirement was productivity. I'm moving up from the most basic of computer mice, Logitech's M185, and looking for something that can easily switch between multiple devices without having to unplug the USB receiver. I'd like to make it clear that this is not a new mouse. It came out in 2016 and it retails for $69 Canadian. And I just picked one up for $40. I actually picked two of them up. I'll post a link in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Endurance. Yes, this mouse has endurance. Two-year battery life with a single AA battery and they include one in the box. Online reviews do say one and a half years, but that's plenty. If I'm being honest, I was hoping for a mouse with a USB-C charging, but at this price, I really can't complain. And at the same time, I have so many devices that require cable charging. For example, my cell phone, my other cell phone, my keyboard, my cameras, my battery bank, my lights, my smartwatch. Just everything needs a cable to charge and it's gonna be nice not to have to add one more device to that list. Productivity, eight customizable buttons, Bluetooth connection with up to three devices simultaneously. It also comes with a USB receiver if you're into that. And it also has an infinite scroll wheel. So I've had this mouse for about three weeks now, and I can honestly say that the seamless transitioning between devices has been my favorite feature thus far. It has saved me so much time and frustration from swapping in and out the USB receiver from other devices. The multi-device Bluetooth support has been a huge win and worth every penny. I've also been enjoying the customizable buttons. You can download Logitech's option software and remap the buttons on this device to anything you want. Right now I have the scroll wheel clicking left and right and that's great for horizontal scrolling and I'm loving that. And I've got the secret thumb button bringing up all windows and I'm quite enjoying that as well. That's how it comes mapped out of the box and I don't think I'm going to change it. You also have two more customizable buttons right above the thumb. Now this is my first experience with an infinite scroll wheel and I gotta say it's awesome for getting down to the bottom of long documents or long web pages and it's also just super fun to play with. Comfort. As I mentioned, this is a big priority for me. I have been more ergonomically conscious over the last few years, and that's why I was excited to try out this mouse. It's not a vertical mouse or anything, but as I said before, Logitech does classify it as a full-sized ergonomical mouse. It does have a nice high profile, which supports my palm very nicely. It is a big step up from my last mouse, Logitech's M185. So for reference, I'm six foot tall, I have a normal size hand, and I find it to be very comfortable. As I mentioned, I bought two of these. I gave one to Jen. She's got small hands, and she finds it to be very comfortable too. She's used to these small portable mini mice, and she really loves this one. It's not so big, however, that it's a burden to carry around with you. You can throw this in your bag for travel, no problem. If you're looking to upgrade to a more comfortable, productive mouse, and don't want to break the bank, then Logitech's M720 Triathlon Mouse is a great option. Okay, that's it for this rundown. I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the M720 Mouse. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And if you know anyone who's currently on a mouse hunt, then please share this video with them. Hopefully they'll find it useful. Okay guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.